Good and welcome. Today's focus will be on linear patterns. So it goes as follows. It says given the linear pattern. So you'll notice some terms here are expressed in terms of x. The first question says calculate the value of x. So a good place to start would be to re rewrite the given sequence. It is x plus 1 to x plus 1. 10 and 13 and then what we can also do is we can label the different parts where tn represents the terms and n represents the position for each term it's one two three four now an important property of linear patterns is that the first differences is a constant so let's find the first differences for the given number pattern so t2 minus t1 would be 2x plus 1 minus the whole of x plus 1 this can be viewed as minus 1 we can apply the distributive property so this reduces to 2x plus 1 minus x minus 1 2x minus x is x positive 1 minus negative 1 cancels out so we can substitute this for the simplified version. We can find T3 minus T2. T3 would be 10 minus 2x plus 1. So 10 minus 2x minus 1. So this is minus 2x plus 9. So once more, we can replace this with its simplified version, minus 2x plus 9. And lastly, t4 minus t3 is 13 minus 10, which is 3. Recall the important property of a linear pattern. The first difference is a constant. A constant means they don't change. So this value, that value, and that value doesn't change. So it means they should be equal. Something that is constant doesn't change. So we can equate any two to find the value of x. So in this case, I'll say 3 should be equals to minus 2x plus 9. So it gives us minus 6 be equals to minus 2x i've just transposed this to the other side so therefore x should be equals to positive 3. so the second question says write down the numeric values of term 1 and term 2 so in the original number pattern we saw term 1 is expressed in terms of x that is x plus 1 but we found x to be 3 so we can substitute 3 plus 1 so term 1 is 4 and term 2 in terms of x is given as 2x plus 1 we can substitute once again that is 2 times 3 plus 1 is equals to 7 so the new linear pattern as numbers can be written as 4 7 10 and 13 so the next question says find the general term tn of the pattern so we can start by writing the general formula for any linear pattern that is given as tn is equals to t n minus 1 plus a where t represents the first difference and a represents the first term in the pattern so we saw earlier on the first difference is 3, 10 minus 7 is 3, 13 minus 10 is 3. It's important that you remember this, the first difference in a linear pattern is a constant. They are equal. So we have the first difference is 3, so we can substitute 3 in the place of t n minus 1 and the first term is 4 so we can just simplify this this is 3n 
minus 3 plus 4 that should give us 3n plus 1 thanks for watching see you in the next one